Greetings, Internet. I'm Vince Nicholas, and I'm the Lazy Healthy Dude. I just had a customer service phone call with a customer service representative who had a very, very heavy foreign accent. And it was very, it was just, it was distracting. It was all I could think about. And I just thought, like, as a, if I ran a customer service operation, uh, I wouldn't hire people who are difficult to understand when they're speaking English. Now, if this woman, I won't say what, uh, what uh, organization she's with, Medi-Cal. I'm on Medi-Cal, kids. <laughs> My mom's dreams finally came true. Uh, I am on the Medi-Cal. Uh, but she calls up and to deal with some form or some process, uh, I don't know, but, I, but so she calls me, I'm not calling to like Dell customer service, which is in the Philippines, this is Medi-Cal, and I assume the workers are here in America, so she calls me, and she's, and she's chatting it up, and I, it's hard, it's difficult to understand, it's hard to understand what she's saying, and I just thought like if I ran a customer service operation, I wouldn't hire people who are hard to understand when they speak English. Now, if this woman was uh, Vietnamese, I'm half Vietnamese so I can say stuff like this, if she's Vietnamese, then have her take Vietnamese phone calls, phone calls in Vietnamese, uh, Vietnamese residents who speak, uh, who have difficulty speaking English. I, I'm related to many of them, but I, I just, I don't get it. Like. Right away, I, it was hard, like I said, difficult to understand her, hard to, the, communication is very important, understanding uh, language is very important in uh, communication. So right away, I was just like, I, I don't know what's going on here, I don't want to be a part of this, get me the hell out of here. So I asked her to send a bunch of paperwork, uh, something, because I just thought, this is going to be infuriating. What, what it, this phone call, which should take 5 to 10 minutes, is going to end up taking 10, 20, 30 minutes till the end of time. And it, it's just, I mean, my mom, my mom, God bless my mom. I love my mom. She's still alive. Uh, but she still has poor, <laughs> poor, broken English. And some things, it's just going back and forth. It's frustrating. So maybe because I've been dealing with it for my uh, 40 years, it's it's it, I just if if I see an oncoming situation that uh, where language will be a barrier, understanding each other will be a barrier. I head for the hills. I get the hell out of Dodge. What are we talking about today? <laughs> Before, <laughs> sorry. Uh, healthy breakfast yesterday. Uh, I went to Cornerstone in Citrus Heights. It's just down the way here, uh, with my boy Jamin, and uh, it's it was it's a Tuesday. It w was today's Wednesday. It was a Tuesday, uh, and Monday to Friday I like to keep it smart. Uh, just my diet, just focused, uh, sort of strict, just on point, on track, blah blah blah, healthy in, in, in a sense. Um, if it was the weekend, I might have gone with uh, waffles and bacon and all that crap. All that good stuff, I mean. Um, but it was Tuesday. Uh, so for breaky, which is what the man bun kids down at the coffee shop call it. Little breaky. Um, for breakfast, this is what I did. Four tips. Because there's four parts of a breakfast. Uh, w w what I'm ordering. What I ordered. Uh, you got your drink. Your drank. This is black coffee, by the way. Black coffee. Like Jay-Z said, all black, everything. I think he was talking about clothes. Maybe people. <gasps> um, okay. Drink, dish, the, the entree, the main thing. Uh, potatoes and toast. So there's four things to, uh, to, to focus on here that you got to... You gotta order exactly what is is best, most most healthy. Okay, so what what did I do? Veggie omelet. 
go with the veggie omelet. Now they have the veggie scramble usually, but that when when everything is mixed up like that, I'm not a fan. I, I like to keep things sort of separate, and when everything, because you, you, in terms of taste and savoring things, when everything is mixed up, it's just one thing, and it's hard to get the the tasting things individually. So my, myself, I, I'm not a big fan of the scrambles. Uh, omelet things are kind of mixed up, but there's a there's a clear separation. There's clear delineation between the egg and the veggies. Uh, so I go with the veggie omelet again. This is what I do. Veggie omelet. I had I say no cheese because I'm not a big fan of cheese, as you know. Um, and I get uh, oh yesterday my omelet came with tomatoes, mushrooms, onions, zucchini and spinach. So tons of veggies. Again, no cheese. That's my go-to. The veggie omelet. Pretty much every uh, freaking restaurant has them, obviously. Uh, if you want, I, I would have loved some olives on there. <laughs> uh, I don't know, maybe they had some, maybe they didn't. I should have asked. Um, and then salsa. Salsa is a good, spicy is a good way to get flavor without adding like fat and, uh, and sugar and all that crap. So uh, uh, I oftentimes I'll ask for a little salsa on the side because again I like to control it. I don't like everything mixed up, all that madness, all that craziness. I like to keep it structured. I like my eggs and my veggies and my salsa. And if I want some salsa over here, I'll eat some. But if I want less salsa over here, and that, then that's what I'll uh, allocate to that particular bite. Dining out with me must be a nightmare. Allison, can you chime in here? Uh, she's my foil. Uh, okay, veggie omelet. That was part one. Part two, omelets, and I'm speaking in generalities here. Most omelet dishes come with some sort of potatoes. Uh, it's it's always, uh, you want hash browns or home fries? Uh, I don't know. Home fries, super crispy, super crunchy, yummy, yummy, yummy. Uh, home, uh, no, hash browns are super crispy, super crunchy. Home fries are just very, well, they're homely. They remind me of home. Uh, but, I mean, they're both incredible, obviously. But we're watching carbs, we're watching our weight, watching diet. So what I do is I get, I ask for a cottage cheese substitute. So I pass on the potatoes and I say, can I get cottage cheese instead? Some places don't have cottage cheese. They give you like, it's like half the size of this mug here. Uh, this mugaroonie, Garfield mugaroonie. Uh, some places don't have cottage cheese. In that case, uh, they that they, they might have a fruit bowl, a little fruit thing, which is like um, tiny uh, bowl with some fruit in there. Uh, it's it's usually disappointing. It's like grape and uh, flavorless honeydew melon. Um, but so. Uh, I'll get that. If there's no cottage cheese, get the fruit bowl. And don't eat the entire fruit bowl. Eat like half of it or a third of it. That's all you need, man. You're not a growing bull anymore. You're old. Watch and wait. Remember, swaps, life hacks, uh, compromise. That's what we're going for. Uh, so that's the potatoes. Toast. Toast usually comes with this dish. I get the wheat toast. Um, it's it's probably just like they, they don't have some fancy 100% <laughs> gluten free, uh, organic, uh, farm to fresh, farm to table, cage free, uh, whole wheat uh, bread. They probably just got a couple loaves of uh, Roman meal back there in the kitchen, and that's fine. Um, but what I do so what most places usually do is they give you two slices, and. Uh, and then they chop it up so there's like four pieces. So two slices into four pieces. And usually I just eat one of those four pieces. So a half a slice. Um, and again, that's that's all you need. That's all I need. I don't need two slices. I don't need a fruit bowl. I don't need a freaking waffle. Sometimes I need a waffle. I'm a big waffle dude. Waffle over pancakes, bro. And pancakes over French toast. French toast. The majority of French toast is just soggy. Like, I don't, I, where's the texture? I don't like French toast, I'm not a fan. Um, back to the waffles, no, <laughs> back to the toast. So, oh, and uh, butter, you can get butter. I mean, a little bit of fat is fine. Again, you're eating 25% uh, 
of uh, two slices, a quarter of uh, the the toast that they issue to you. Um, so a little butter's fine, but if you can get, if you can ask non-buttered, obviously that's the best, the optimal. Um, I forgot to ask for non-buttered yesterday, so I got buttered. I ate 25% of the a toast, half a slice, and it was perfectly fine. Uh, and that's it. So to review, veggie omelet, stack it up with veggies, go crazy with the veggies. All veggies, all day. You can do whatever you want. Veggies, veggies, veggies. Uh, I get the no cheese, you can get the cheese. Again, it's a lot of protein. There's fat in there. Um, and some cheeses are more questionable than other in terms of quality. But you do you, man. You live your life, bro. Do what's best for your family. Uh, so veggie omelet. Uh, substitute cottage cheese for potatoes. Um, wheat toast. Eat a half a slice of it. And then beverage. Uh, oh, beverage is part number four. Uh, water, which is free. Which more and more, I'm, I'm, cause I, I got Keurig. I, I drink Keurigs all day, and so like the fact that I'm in, an, I, I, I go to an establishment and I, and I buy a, and I'm paying two dollars for this or three dollars for a cup of coffee, which comes with refills, obviously. But I, I just more and more, I'm like, well, what the hell? Just get a so water. I'm gonna start. I'm I'm going to start for self improvement. Vincent Nicholas in 2017. I'm gonna start drinking more water when I go out to eat. You save a couple bucks, man. Okay, so for beverage, uh, go water or black coffee. Um, tea is also acceptable if you're a woman. Uh, but orange juice, hot chocolate, that's a no no. So don't 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 go there, girl. Don't go there, girl. And that's it, man. Veggie omelet, cottage cheese instead of potatoes, wheat toast, eat uh, half a slice, and then water or hot black coffee. Black, important, no cream, no sugar uh, for your beverage. And that's it. Healthiest breakfast ever. Healthiest breakfast possible at a restaurant. And then uh, when you want to indulge, do whatever you want. But until then, to reach your diet goals, Follow what I'm saying. Uh, let's see, plugs. Uh, please like this video. Subscribe to my channel, Lazy Healthy Dude. Comment if you want. I'll get back to you. I have no life. <laughs> I have no job. I have no friends or family. Well, they're in San Diego. They're really far. But anyways, uh, please like, subscribe, comment. Um, on Twitter, Snapchat, and Instagram, I am Vince Nicholas. On Facebook, please like the Lazy Healthy Dude page. Um, and there's always LazyHealthyDude.com, which just goes to YouTube for now. Uh, so yeah, that's it, man. Hope this helps. Uh, I, I, I used to be like, I'm not going out to breakfast. Uh, Monday, I don't go out to eat Monday to Friday. I, it's, it's, it's not an option. But now I'm more open to it. Um, just because I know how to eat, I know exactly what to order, and it's not, it's not, I mean, I, I'm not desiring uh, a veggie omelet and cottage cheese and <laughs> a half a slice of wheat toast, but it's what I eat, like I said, to maintain, to get by, Monday to Friday, keep it smart, weekends, whatever. All, all caution goes to the wind on the weekend, and that's it, man. Follow me on uh, all the social media platforms or don't. Do whatever you want. You do you, bro. Live your life for yourself because no one else will. Take care. Brush your hair. Love you, babe. Peace.